Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel of Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and I have been working really hard today cleaning out this other half of my great room because uh, I guess it was almost two months ago I was doing the kitchen cupboards. So the kitchen cupboard section is in front of me. This is the living area of the great room. So it's up here behind me. So I've been busy in the last couple hours moving furniture around, sweeping. I haven't quite gotten to vacuuming or mopping yet, but I'll be doing that in the next day or two. I still have some Christmas stuff behind me. Uh, the Christmas decor that I didn't put away was the stuff I was worried I would accidentally donate. It's my, this is my new Christmas stuff I got this year and last year. And I have done that in the past where I'm, I'll put some of my new Christmas stuff with the old stuff and then I just scoop up all the old stuff and donate it. And then I come next Christmas realize I donated all my good Christmas stuff. So I just kept it all out uh, just so it wouldn't happen again. I know I can see my camera is tipping, sorry. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna say, so my next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna remember this way. Uh, this is our kitchen table. So it's all set up for, you know, kind of like a Valentine's kind of a thing. So I'm gonna actually redo this for spring Easter. And then this table, I love the look of this table. It looks like it's a it's full wood. I don't know what kind of material it is. It could be a wood. I'm not sure what, but it's got these nice details in it. It's even got these little notch marks in here. But so I, what I want to do is I don't want to put a tablecloth on this table because I want people to be able to see the table. So I'm just going to, but because I have kids and pets, I'm still going to be keeping my plastic. So with that being said, I'm going to undo or un set my table and I'll be back as I set it up. All right, to help unset my table faster, oops, little necklace there, uh, what I do is I lay out everything in its own little grouping. So I've got placemats, large plates, uh, side plates, bowls, cups, and the chargers. This way, when I unset, I just have to grab one place setting at a time without so, dropping everything. So I just grab one place setting at a time, and then I can just put everything into its own little stacks. And it really helps to make it easy so I know if I'm missing any plates, cups, bowls, or anything before I put everything away. Now, because these have been out, I do wash them before I put them back in the cupboard. Placemats, these ones are just the little plastic outdoor ones uh, from the dollar store, but I really like the color of them. So I'll give them a quick little wipe. And these, I will actually be reusing these ones on the table for this place setting, but I will still give each one of these a wipe because they haven't been probably wiped off since they were put out, unless food gets spilt on them. But I've got a few place spots where they don't get used all the time. So I'm just gonna keep unsetting my table and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my protective plastic uh, on the table and I've used the same um, placemats and the same chargers that I had before. But I also recently just got myself the new place setting for this table and I got the lemon pattern. My Dollar Tree finally got them in, but where I live, it went up to a buck fifty a piece. So I got the plate. Oops, let's get this in there. So we're just trying to get this in view. So I've got the plate. Sorry, they're a little wet. I was just washing them. Uh, the saucer, the bowl. And the cup and then I thought would be kind of cute because I needed some water glasses for this table because I didn't have any and my daughter said because we're doing it like a summer so we bought the mason jar ones I've never owned any of these mason jar cups before so this is a totally new thing for me to have so I'm just going to set the table I'm just gonna figure out how I like it oh, let me just 
detail here. Like I said, I just finished wiping these off and getting the price tags off. That's how new they are. And they some just a little bit of water on them. But so this, I think I'm gonna have it sitting this way. This has got this branch. So, so I'll have that where the branches are. Let's make the big one here with the three lemons is gonna be on the right. So I'm gonna set that for all of them. my way so I can move around and not bump them and so you can see what I'm doing. Angle the camera here. All the water. So I had washed all the chargers and I've wiped down all the placemats. I've wiped the table off and the protective tablecloth here that I've got. I really like these clear tablecloths. The Dollar uh, Dollarama sells them for between two fifty and three fifty. I I don't remember the pricing. They've kind of changed their pricing sometimes. I always forget how much I pay for certain items when they raise their price over the years. Like I know when they used to be like a dollar and now they've gone up to where I live like up to four dollars for some items. Saucers here. I washed them and then I had nowhere to set them to dry so I just restacked them and that's not a good idea. Just all water just puddled on top of them. Same with these ones. I'm going to have it so that the one that has the most lemons is on the right. So kind of the same pattern. This one here has got the three lemons. I'm putting it on the right side as well. Make sure I did that. Make sure I get this all lined up. And then the bowls. I'm just going to grab a different tea towel. That one is just too wet to dry anything with. I'm just going to bring over the bowls. I've already dried the cups, so I don't have to worry about that, but I thought I had dried these a little bit better than I did. There's the bowl, so I have the pattern facing the person. So that means when you're sitting down, the one side of the bowl is facing you, and when you're on the other side of the table, you'll still see the nice uh, lemon pattern on the bowls. And I did recently, on a trip last weekend, to... Um, Value Village, I was able to get myself some uh, new what they, the na cloth or linen napkins that will go with this set. I just, they are in the wash right now. And then that's the cups. They're really nice. I like them. I always put the cups I'm trying to think, just, uh, on the left side and I always put them upside down just because I've got pets and just pet hair, so as a general rule at my house, when you grab dishes, we keep them on the table. Um, I always to quickly rinse them off before you use them, just just because uh, pet hair. What am I missing? Oh, I thought I was missing. Okay. Gonna count. I thought I was missing one. It was sitting right in front of me. Okay, and then these are the nice little jars of mugs. So I've never had these mason jar ones before. So just 
put these here as the water cups. So how water cup with handles is also something new. Now these ones, I'm not sure how stable, oops, it's got a little water still inside. I'm not sure how stable these would be upside down. So I'm not gonna put these ones upside down. I think they are gonna be like a top heavy, especially if my cats were to jump on the table. on the table so I've got my uh, napkin holder I've got the cutlery jar and I've got my nice little box salt and pepper shaker and I got my little butter dish and I have the little centerpiece last summer at a yard sale for like two dollars so it's, it's a nice little wooden uh, holder and it's got five of these cute little jars and I didn't know what to do with it but it works perfect with this table it's the same color as the table it's a little I think it just the jars need to be washed because I had different things in them so set that there so there is my table all set up and ready for uh, going into spring and summer. So I've got my new cutlery, so I'm going to get that and open that up too. Okay, so the other night at Dollarama, I got this piece of 16 uh, cutlery sets. So you get four of each, so you get the knife, fork, and two sizes of spoon. So I'm just going to open this up and see what I get now. These need to be washed, but just uh, my sink is full of dish, other dishes right now, so I can't wash any more dishes at the moment. But I'm just going to take these out. I'm just going to set them in here for now, anyways, because I've got my little. Just move this here. So close to me, so I don't have to reach across the whole table to do this. I got my little jar here. This little cute little jar rack thing it's got the three little mason jars and it came with the chalk uh it came with a marker and you could write on them and then i was at i forget what i paid i think 250 or three dollars for this little thing and then i got these labels and they're like a leather label and you get six so you get like two of each you got fork knife and spoon and so I put them on here for this table, so I can keep the cutlery on the table. So I'm just going to take these out, so there's, you get four. So there's the four those, four knives, the four forks, and I'm going to put the four larger spoons here. As I can tell, these jars are quite big, so these other smaller spoons are just too small. So I'm going to put these ones over with beside my coffee maker for you know, stirring your coffee or tea. So there's a side. I'm just going to put this back the way I had it. So my table will be all set and ready to go. So all I have to do is just change up my napkins. Well, it's quite easy to do. I just have to take the Valentine ones off. And I've got my nice spring summer rose napkins. I got these at the dollar store. I don't know which dollar store. I don't remember how much. Uh, if it was at Dollar Tree, they'd be a dollar or a dollar twenty-five a pack. If I got them at Dollarama, they'd be anywhere between a dollar to two dollars a pack. I don't remember, like I said, like when you buy lots of napkins, I, you always kind of forget where you get them or how much they cost. But there is this table so far. So all I have to do is these five little jars just need a little flour or something in them. I just don't have anything at the moment that goes with the lemon pattern. And I've got to get the, um, the cloth napkins and napkin rings. I just don't have them right now. They're in the washer at the moment. When I get them, when I do my other table, I will show you what they look like. Just get a quick, while I'm spinning the camera around, you kind of get to see what my, my rest of my kitchen kind of looks like. 
Okay, I just wanted to say again, uh, thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and subscribing to both my channels, and I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.